little morning trout, if you don't mind. <laughs> How good's that? I've been working this little rock patch for a little bit, trying different lures. I've seen something come out a few times to try and um, to try and get it. A little vibe done the trick. Is that to see? Yeah, he'd be legal just. But yeah, we don't need him. Go back and fight another day. We spent the day here just chilling out really. It's pretty blowy. Jill's had a nice sun bake and a chill out on the beach. Yeah, it's a nice little bay for that. Yeah. Um, there's Percy's just over there in the distance. Middle Percy, South Percy. So it'd be nice to go over the middle over the A-frame hut um, again, but this is the wind's don't suit. And it would just be average for us and it's just not worth it. So um, we're gonna go to Digby. Um, probably about yeah, 20 miles or something like that, so not so bad. And uh, yeah, find an anchorage there for the night. Anyway, we're here at Digby. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's like a, like the islands form a natural anchorage. It is. It has got a little roll coming in. I don't know if you can see that on the video, but it's fine, really, even for us. So big boats wouldn't care. But um, compared to what we had the last 24 hours, as far as roll goes, it's sweet. Yeah, a little old shipwreck there on the beach and stuff like that. We were going to go in this afternoon. Um, but yeah, I, don't know, I got half keen and not keen, and I'm like, ah, oh, bugger it. So we're just gonna chill out, Savi, I think, have we'll a beer. Have time, we'll time tomorrow. And then, yeah, we got no race at all tomorrow because um, it's gonna be really blowing tomorrow. It'll be 20 25 for the best part of tomorrow. So we'll be um, here for the day. So we'll take a bit, do a bit of exploring on the island, and um, yeah, whatever, whatever, really. So. We're in no rush, so that's why I wasn't in mad rush to get into this RV, even though it does look like the ideal beer place. Have a look at this shade coming over the beach there, the trees, the sunset, shipwreck. Are you serious? Sound, sound like you talk yourself into Right, let's go. <laughs> Something about this last part of the day, eh? Morning guys, we've just woken up at Digby Island this morning. Um, we had a pretty good night. Um, the winds picked up as expected overnight and um, on the high we actually felt a little bit rolly but it wasn't anything um, we couldn't sleep through. Um, yeah, so Mick's just getting the tender ready. Um, we've got a day of exploring up on the beach today. What's going on, Jilza? Just checking out our wreck. It's a bit of beach coming. Bit of wreck. <laughs> I'm up now. Quite a nice little bay. We just met these guys off of uh, the Fontaine out yeah, behind us there. One day more. One day more. They're from Sydney. They've just been like gradually going up the coast. Um, here and there, like when they can get time off work and then they leave it in the nearest marina, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. But we might catch up with them for some sundown as a survey. We're just going to um, have a little bit of a walk up here. Little bite to eat, then I might chase a few squid this survey, hopefully. Mm. So here we go. There it is. So Jill's is up the front there. We're gonna do it, just do a lunch. So I just flicked for a bit of a squid and just got three. We're right back in the boat. What is that? You can see like these little half wiggity rocky bottoms here. Literally straight there is where we just got the squid right then. Just wasn't until we got them because a bit of action there and we got all three in a row in this you know, in the same net. That's what we got all three. And um, yeah, of course, no GoPro. Morning, guys. Well, it's a dusty heave ho this morning. We had to stay at Digby yesterday just because the wind was up. It's still up a bit, but we got to make a move soon. But um, much to Jill's disgust. But uh, yeah, we um, had just had a bit of a day kicking around here. The days go super quick. Anyone who says, what do you do all day? Super quick. Before you know it, it's four o'clock and the sun's about ready to go down and next thing you're in bed and repeat. So um, yesterday we did a bit of a, went for a bit of a, well, we had plans going for a bit of a squid. We had a bit of a beach comb. And then, um, yeah, like I said, on the while Jill was doing lunch, I just chucked the squid jig off the front of the boat and we ended up with three. So that was really good. Um, had a bit of a go late that afternoon, but the wind was up too much, I think, and the tide was out a little bit too far, so, um, so be it. Uh, dropped a bit of squid off to the guys on Dash, and then we went over and dropped a bit of fish and squid off to another boat that we met yesterday called One Day More. From Sydney, yeah, Andrew, Megan, Nathan, and Grayson. Um, they were just, yeah, we ended up staying there then. Um, they invited us on and had a heap of drinks, and they cooked dinner, and we had a lot of laughs, and um, oh, it, was just, it was a great night. But uh, yeah, they've pushed off, they got to get going today. So they had to do the trek to Mackay this morning. So they've left and um, Dash has left. There's a couple of monos here. And we're just uh, gathering our thoughts and that and then we're about to punch off too, so. But needless to say, oh, it's been a long time since I've seen old Jilza second hand. She's a bit dusty to the big girl, so. So we're on our way. Right up until then, I was thinking, ah, it's not too bad. <laughs> um, yeah, it's pretty much what they stood at, I figured it would be, you know, there's about, I don't know, maybe, maybe 17 knots, something like that, 15, 20s anyway. That'll be a, a good meter, a good meter swell, but a little bit mixed, a little bit south, like southerly, really, southwest and southeast swell. And then, um, a bit picking up uh, as you go around an aisle, the aisle or past an aisle and definitely you get that current that definitely makes you stand up regardless of the tide really so uh, but yeah it's not so bad I don't think anyway it's, you get your few odd ones we're still averaging we're still averaging like 21 22 knots so we still get along pretty good seated just coming into Scorefell. We're pretty happy to be here. <laughs> I mean, the boat did a good job, and you know, Mick got us here safely and everything. It's just, yeah, it just makes it hard work. It takes its toll on you. But we're here now, so looking forward to some lunch. And just a day of unwinding, really. <laughs> Naked Lady Beach, probably one of our favourite highlight spots from last year, so it was definitely going to be on our um, stopover list. So yeah, we were stuck at Scorefell there a little bit this morning, it was very squally, rainy, and um, it didn't sort of look like it was letting up, so we just bit the bullet and left, and um, it wasn't too bad to be fair. Fair bit of swell there, but um, yeah, we just managed it. 
just did, um, yeah, went halfway to Cockermouth and just had a break and a bit of a feed and stuff and then punched it on the rest of the way. Run over some great ground, but Jill wouldn't let me pull up for a fish. Um, so, sneaky sausage rolls in the oven on way. Um, yeah, I'll try for a bit of a squid, I think, in a minute. Um, yeah, I think we'll stick it out here. We'll see how we go anyway. It's a beautiful spot. Life's good. Cheers, Louis Sundays, my love. Stop it. <laughs> she didn't want to do it. I don't even know if I got you in on that. Who do it again? <laughs> Cheers, Louis Sundays, fuck. Cheers, we made it. <laughs> well, oh, Thomas has counted. I oh, counted. Absolutely, it's counted. Um, yeah, so just had Thomas. Another shit hot sunset about to happen. Pretty much only there's two two yachts up there in the bay. Otherwise, pretty quiet. I'd assume most are around at shore, but um, yeah, Jill just, Jill just spent the Arlo in on the beach and um, I just had a bit of a, I was hoping for a squid, but there's so much bait in the bay. It's absolutely chock-a-block with bait. I thought, oh, well, I'll just have a bit of fun then. So it was a bit murky for squid and too low tide. Very big out, wasn't it? Mm, um, yeah. We didn't, I can't remember it being that low last year. No, nah, so I just threw the little little X-wrap on that I was using last year and first 50 metres and boom, got a trout. So, um, as you would have seen, and um, yeah, he was just on size, so I brought him back to the boat, just over, but absolutely perfect for us. And we were going to do it whole, but um, oh, I just couldn't be bothered. You use a lot of gas and that too, so I don't know, we just sort of ripped the sides off, we end up with two perfect little fillets. So if we're going to do a whole fish too, I'd rather use like lemon and yeah. all the right ingredients, so I don't have a lot of fresh stuff, so. Yeah, so um, we'll do that little fish and chips bit tonight. of calamari and... Um, oh yeah. It's a seafood basket tonight. <laughs> yeah, it's a seafood basket. Right before we go to Hamo tomorrow for the next two days, so that'll be good. Nice little way to end up the day. Right, so it's a bit like deja vu. Cut now, Thomas, in the morning before we head off. Yeah, the tide's pretty good, so I'm just going to um, I'm just going to go and have a little quick go for a squid. Not real, not put a lot of effort in, but um, hopefully just get a couple there, and then um, yeah, then we're going to get going. Sort of the wind's already up a bit. Um, and um, yeah, you get to hammer. So, we'll see how we go. Let me try this again. So we just got a, I just got a really nice squid there. Of course, like again, like I don't know how many times Jill's gonna say to me, "You never go prepared." Felt like I had the net. I had two GoPros, dry bag, did a little spiel, you name it. First cast. Squid, turn the GoPro on, flat. Grab the other one, goes flat. No bucket to keep it in. Had to go back to the boat, get a heap of sh shit. Here's another one right here, did you see that? We're on here in a second. Here we go, here we go, got him. Boss, set that up ya. Oh, he's pulling us. No ink yet though, a bit off him. Squirt away champ. I've already landed the prize catch right here. How are you doing? Morning guys, we're just leaving Thomas Island. We had a really good night there. Um, wind dropped out a fair bit overnight and good night's rest. We enjoyed a bit of um, fresh trout and calamari for dinner. 
which is nice this late in the trip considering our uh, fresh options are pretty limited. But uh, Mick went out this morning and got some more squid, which is really nice. Yeah, we're looking forward to um, <laughs> resetting the boat, our bins full, restock the fridge. Although we're looking forward to a marina tab feed tonight. Hey babe. Yep, definitely. <laughs> a few frothies. <laughs> to shore but um we're expecting to see dash here they're not here so it's not as calm as i thought it would have been there's still a few little white caps in the bay and that a bit of wind around so we're just passing through i think the captain's made a decision to keep trucking by the looks of it so next stop coming experience that wind against tide and the currents that come through these islands up here is hectic then. Like it's, um, it just walls right up at a certain section. It's going to try and come in wide and just keep a straight track because it just yeah, it's like a rapids in a river you know. On top of 15 to 20s isn't, isn't pretty but I mean we're getting better at it. I'm having less anxiety. Jill's still well I told her to film when we come through the worst part and she pretended like she couldn't hear. <laughs> I used a heap of fuel, a heap of fuel actually, I'm quite surprised because I did the math before we left obviously with the bladders and uh, but it only takes a couple of rough trips, the two legs we did from Digby to, uh, from Dukes to Digby, no sorry, Digby to Scorfell and then Scorfell to Thomas yesterday, uh, yeah man, that we ate the fuel so <laughs> uh, we probably still got 100 litres left I'd say, which I mean yeah it's fine but Rarely do I rarely do I get under that 100 litre mark, you know, just to be safe sort of thing. So just something to keep in mind too, you know. Like it only takes a couple of little rough trips, and that throws your um, equations out, you know. Anyway, we're here. Hello. 